All right, welcome back. This is Chris with Launch Code, and this video shows you how to set up a persistent many-to-many -many relationship. And as we said before, we're going to relate our event class to our tag class. So I'm going to open up both of those classes. I have uh, event and tag open now. And this video is just going to show you how to establish the relationship within the entities or within the model classes themselves. Um, we're not going to be able to do anything in the UI with these with this relationship yet. That'll be uh, in the next video. So. Let's see, to establish the relationship on the event side, we're going to establish both sides of this relationship. So on the event side, we come down here and let me put it below, uh, let me put it below the category uh, field. So let me make a private. And since it's many to many, the type of this is going to be a collection type. We want an event to be able to have multiple tags. So, you know, if it's a spring conference, you would tag it with potentially spring and spring boot and Java, because those are all uh, technologies associated with spring. So. Uh, we want to be able to have many tags, so let's make this a list of tags. Okay, I need some imports, so I'm just doing alt in enter there. Okay, so that uh, field now exists to establish a relationship. I need to, on this side, put a many to many annotation. And uh, that's good. Let me also add final to this. We again don't want to be able to have someone sort of swap out our uh, our uh, list or collection out from underneath us. Um, okay, that's good. Now let's do a couple of other things. Let's go down to the bottom and let's add a getter for our tags collection. I don't need a setter because it's final. Okay, there we go. And then we want a way to be able to add tags to an event. So let me go down below and say create a new event. Say public void add tag. This is going to take a tag object. And just say this.tags.add. It's going to add the, the tag that's passed in. So this just gives uh, a nice simple way for somebody to to add tags without accessing or touching that collection directly. So, um, you know, if we, uh, we we have this get tags um, method here, but uh, we really don't want people to have to, you know, get into the guts of how these tags are stored in order to work with them. So, um, we could put a delete tags method here too if we wanted to, but uh, we're not going to add that functionality yet. Um, so um, I'm gonna pass on that. So this establishes the one side of the relationship. So now um, now if we were to start up our application, uh, event objects would be capable of storing tags on themselves. So um, to do the other side, we'll do something similar. We're going to go over to the tag class and below, just above the constructor, I'm going to make a private list of events. Call that events. Same, same deal, new array list. And uh, I'll make a final. And then I'll add a getter down at the bottom. Generate that getter. Uh, cool. And the thing I need to do on this side, again, I need a many to many annotation. And on this side, I need to say uh, mapped by equals tags. And so this tells. Um, it tells Hibernate that essentially that it should to figure out which events are in this collection. It should look for events that have the given tab dot tag object associated with it in the tags tags field on that particular class. Okay, and so that should work. Um, let me go ahead and root start up my application just to make sure it does. Um, as I mentioned before, we're not going to be able to do anything with these this relationship in the views yet. That's going to come uh, in the next video. But starting my application up now will at least show me that. The Hibernate configuration and JP annotations and all that stuff are configured correctly. If they're not, I will get an exception. And the application has started up. There's no use in me going to the view because I can't do anything with this relationship yet in the view. Let's look, look at the database. So in the database, let me refresh my schemas pane. And so now I have a tag table that, that was added uh, in the last video when we added a tag entity. Um, and let's look at our event table and our tag table actually. So the tag table has two columns, ID and name. That's cool. The events table uh, has the same columns as before. So there, notice there are no new columns on either of these tables that are now related to each other 
in a many-to-many -many fashion. And that's because it's not really possible to create a many-to-many -many relationship just using a single foreign key on one of these tables. You need a new sort of structure um, called a join table. And so that's what this event tags table is. So Hibernate created this event tags table for us. And we'll open that up. And this is what's, what's known as a join table. And um, a join table just gives you a way to relate you know, relational uh, uh, relational data in a many-to-many -many fashion. And the way it works here is that, say I have an event that has a Java tag on it, right? So let me see, uh, I've got here, I've got WWDC as my event, um, and it has ID 13. And my tag table, I've got Java that has ID 15. So the way that this relationship would be um, noted in the database is that I would have those two IDs in, these, in this column. So I would have 13 under the events ID, and 15 under the tags ID. And so in order to determine uh, how a many many relationship, uh, you know, whether or not a many many relationship exists between two objects, you would look for an entry in the join table with the two IDs for those things. And so that allows you to uh, establish this relationship in a many to many fashion, which you couldn't do with just a single foreign key. Um, and just sort of an interesting note too, this table um, has, uh, let's, let's see if we can see it. Uh, Not exactly. So this this table actually is uh, it doesn't have a primary key, a, a primary key column, I should say. Um, and the reason why that is is it one we could have one on there, but it doesn't actually need a primary key column. Remember, a primary key is used to determine uh, sort of sort of meant to be the unique identifier for a row within a table. Um, and in this case, events ID and tags ID together those will determine whether or not an entry is unique. So the pair of them. Uh, constitutes a primary key, and so this is a uh, a concept called um, compound keys or uh, compound primary keys, so or composite primary keys. So uh, there's no primary key column here, but our table still still does have a primary key. So you won't be able to insert, say, two rows with the exact same events ID and tags ID. That won't be allowed since uh, that would be a duplicate primary key, of course, which we cannot have. Okay, and uh, great, that's it. So our our relationship is, you know, we can relate tags to uh, to events now. Um, you know, theoretically, but there's no functionality in our controllers or views to do that. So that's what we'll do uh, next.